Brooklyn, New York. That's the only place I've ever truly lived. It's where I spent most of my time. I grew up in Canarsie, which is a very sort of rural part of Brooklyn. I guess you could call it the the suburbs of Brooklyn. It's where all the nice little private houses are all in a row, block after block. I grew up there for most of my life. I went to school there, elementary, and then I moved on to junior high school, not too far away from there. And it wasn't until high school when I had to take the subway to get to school every day. And I've taken the subway before to go to events and all see different parts of the city, but I've always been with my parents. I've never done it on my own. It's never been a part of my day-to-day until my first day of high school when I had to take the subway every day for five years. <laughs> I know I'm supposed to say four, but unfortunately, I got left back. And so I had to repeat a year, but that's another story. I've never imagined living anywhere outside of New York for as long as I can remember. I've always wanted to go to places like Japan or the UK to visit, to see the sights, hear the sounds, meet the people experience the culture, but I never ever thought of living anywhere other than the city. I didn't tell all my friends that I was going anywhere. I didn't want them to feel like I was someplace where they couldn't reach me or that it was too much trouble or too hard to to get to me. I didn't want them to feel like I left them behind. I didn't want to f- I didn't want them to feel like I went somewhere where I was unobtainable. And so I didn't say anything. And yeah, it's unfair, but going from a place where you grow up where everyone's so connected, where everything is well connected, where you can take the subway and be at your friend's house in 10 minutes or an hour, depending on, you know, if they lived in the Bronx or if they lived in Manhattan or the Queens or Brooklyn, to somewhere outside of the city where subways can't carry you that far, where the bus can't take you, where you would have to find other means of transportation to get there. It feels impossible because in the city, everything is so well connected. Everything is so integrated. And the city forms its own little bubble. And it's only when you're forced outside of that bubble that you realize how long you've been sitting in a bubble. Being here, I've had to start all over again. I've had to explore. I spent a few days inside not really knowing what the outside held being afraid but one day I just went outside and I started walking and I walked farther and farther until I ended up right back home and then the next day I went a little bit farther than I did the first day I tried going back to places that I've seen before and I started to notice things I've noticed that this town has its own sense of beauty. It has its own little things that make it what it is. And yeah, nobody's lining up to take the subway and, you know, there's no convenience store on every block, but it's different enough to appreciate it for what it is. It's calm. It's quiet. It's friendly. And everything's really spaced out and if you want to get to from point A to point B, 
you either be driving or you'll need to take a bus or you better prepare yourself for one hell of a walk. But it's weird to go from a place or, well, I should say a city that never sleeps to a town with a curfew. Everything's different. Everything's slower. Everything is not as important. You don't have people walking around in the latest fashion. You don't have people driving down in fancy cars. You don't have people outside trying to do the new new. You don't have a ton of people competing or you don't have these live performances outside. I've never really been anywhere else outside of New York City. I vacation places, you know, different states. I've even went out the country once or twice, but I've never been anywhere long enough that I've needed to readjust my lifestyle to the place that I'm residing in. It's just never been needed. It's just never been necessary. There is definitely some charm to this town. Everyone is friendly, albeit they're racist, but they're friendly. It's just different. And it feels good to kind of start all over again. Scary, but it feels good.